Good morning, good morning. I'm not sure the jury's still out on all this. It'll be much sturdier, of course, when there's more paper in here. But I had three. Now I'm put five in there, and I'm not sure how that feels yet. I got my postcard, which was to Hind Street, Hanoi, which is, this is a typical street in the old town. And a lot of the other town. <laughs> tons and tons of wire. Uh, everything needs to be power washed greatly. Scooters everywhere. Little ladies selling something. And a lot of times there was people out on these little sidewalks because they were selling something or they were cooking. They cook outside a lot. Um, and I'm not so sure I don't agree, disagree with that because of the fumes with the oil and everything. 4,500, 40,000, yeah, 4,500 dong to mail this to the United States. Which, and it got mailed on May 4th, which is about when I gave it to that little boy who I didn't think understood me at all. I talked to the concierge the day before and he goes, sure, just leave me, you know, um, I think he said 20 dong. I don't know. I gave him, I think I gave him 40 dong. 40,000 dong. And it was 45, 40,500 dong. So I think they're in the whole 500 dong on me, which is about five cents. But, um, I just, this was to myself and I just wanted to get one with a train, a stamp from the post office in it. But most every street looked like this. Tons of wires. Everything needs to be power washed. A lot of cooking out on the streets. Um, little ladies selling stuff. That was, and this this to Hind Street is in the old town, which was close to our hotel. We were like there was an automatic border of Dior. Um, two or three other high end stores, and then our hotel. They said our hotel was in the high end district. You could tell because that's where Dior was. That like Christian Dior and Chanel or something like that. They had stores, which I don't know who buys that stuff there because they can't afford to power wash their houses. That no dits on them at all. Anyhow, Judy got hers too, so that's great. Um, I'm still gonna do a loose leaf because I'm just not sure yet about how to do all this. Now, this is already coming apart. No. I just didn't put it on there straight. Okay. I'm still thinking I like this, although I had a better picture that I forgot I had done. I was looking through my pictures again last night. There's a great map that we got from the hotel one night. We went out on our own. This is Old Town. Well, I think actually this is Old Town. Our hotel was right here. Like the Opera House was right here. Five. Yeah, Hanoi Opera House. And then our hotel was right across Kitty Corner across from it. There was a great bookstore. I think right in here, there was a McDonald's somewhere. This was a really pretty lake. We walked across this and there was a temple for tortoises there. Um, 14. Temple of, this is the Temple of Literature and Confucius. It's all in the same place. Um, Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. 12. We drove by it. Oh, right there. This is the Red River. This is a gigantic lake. 
And this was the highway that went to the airport that we went on to get to the mountains and to get to Hulong Bay. So you went out of town that way. Mm. Oh, the other bridge. This bridge is the bridge that the Americans bombed a lot during the Vietnam War. And now you can still go across it, but only scooters and a little trolley car thing goes across it, I think. This is the bridge we took a lot. Um, eight. Let's see. We did not see the One Pillar Pagoda unless we just drove by it. Which is where Ho Chi Minh lived. I'm pretty sure. Oh, St. Joseph's Cathedral for is the church that looks like Notre Dame because of the French occupying here for so long. They built a miniature Notre Dame here. We drove by it. Um, this was the hospital I think our Bonnie went to, which she said yesterday on her blog that she... Um, is still propping her leg up. Oh, this was in Vietnamese. Can't understand a word. Okay. I am stalling. I have another picture. Where are the rest of my, like, picture pictures? Not, oh, here they are. Like the ones I did on paper for Hobonichi. One that I drew. The um, route that we took on the tracker that we could tell we were taking. Oh, I need these. My video won't be as long today as it was yesterday. Uh, I could have sworn I had printed that thing. Maybe I did, and it's in my real photographs. Let's see. No. 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 And no. <laughs> oh, if only I was as organized as I think I am. All right. I don't know what we're going to do today. But I do know that these two should be in the flight area. These are not good scissors. Somehow some yucky scissors got mixed in with my good scissors. We still have cool weather here. And when I say cool, I mean it gets up to about 80, but it's been overcast. It's been uh, not nearly as humid as normal. I don't know. This was my breakfast every morning when we were at the hotel in Hanoi. Dragon fruit? No. Was it dragon fruit? Maybe. Yeah, dragon fruit. Um, a fresh spring roll with just veggies. Fruit, which varied from watermelon to cantaloupe to pineapple. Um, a French roll that had a tiny bit of chocolate in it. They were small. They were about that big. Uh, watermelon juice. That was delish. Then I started putting in uh, passion fruit juice and watermelon mixed together. Mm, that was good. A latte. 
And sometimes I had a hash brown and a piece of chicken sausage. It was delish. Delish. Okay. So now this needs to go, okay, I'm going to put one, the 30th, because we started flying on the 30th. This is when we saw Bonnie. Put that there. But she leaves for Egypt in like the last day of May. And then she goes straight from Egypt to Ireland for two back-to-back -back trips. And then she comes home and then she's going to Italy. She comes home for a couple of weeks. She's trying to, they're trying to get in all her makeup trips from people that had bought them during COVID or prior to COVID for 2020 and 2021. Okay. Now... Where is, there it is. I had a thing of ink, here it is. God, what a mess. These little weather stamps, I love these. So I'm just going to put in, it was sunny when we left South Carolina. Who knows what it was over the clouds. <laughs> I'm just going to put this big cloud guy. But I just took pictures of mine that I took. And I lightened them on Procreate. And then I just put the dates in. Which is my way of keeping track of the date and the weather. And I wrote it in the Hobonichi. But, okay. So... I'm good with that. That's not the right picture. It was really weird how we flew. I need to get a map too. I'm so disorganized. We flew from Columbia to Atlanta, Atlanta to JFK. JFK up over the Great Lakes, between the Great Lakes and Hudson Bay. And we went all the way across to Alaska. Then we went up Alaska and out like the Aleutian Islands over to some islands that you really, I've never knew, knew were there, that meet close to the Aleutians in um, Russia. We went over those, and we went over this peninsula here, and then came across uh, Japan, way high altitude and way overcast because we couldn't see anything. And then we came down to Taipei, Taiwan, and then we came into Vietnam. And then when we, we, we went home, we did that, that exact route. But when we got down to uh, say Vancouver, we came across because we went right over Glacier National Park and we went right over the Great Lakes, which we couldn't see either. Um, it was at night. And then we landed at JFK at like almost midnight. And then we had to wait for about five hours so that we could catch a plane to Atlanta and Atlanta to Columbia because Columbia doesn't open till like six o'clock in the morning. So we either waited in JFK or we waited in Atlanta. We opted for waiting in JFK. All right, so now I have Hanoi and this is like first impressions. And I do want to do the red like that. Here is Smog City. I had another picture that I was gonna put here. Oh, dear. Oh, here it is. Ho Chi Minh Memorial. And he is buried there. So I think I want to do that. Now, I do want to do vellum. So... I 
I'm thinking silently. I think I'm going to do a piece of vellum across the bottom. So do I want to put this piece of red here or save it? I might save it. going to do is I'm going to fold it. I'm going to put it on the back of here. Now I will have a piece of paper on the back of this, so you won't see this. It'll all, it'll all be behind the scenes. Okay, like that. And I want to stamp. Um, a couple travel things here. And possibly. Okay, these are mostly animals, I think. Oh, no, here's a, ooh, here's a good one. Except it's not in there. I do like the compass and oh here's a good one <gasps> there's a good one too that's more astronomy though Europe, National Parks, what's in here, South Carolina, and here's another one of these, are these the same thing, yep, I like that application better. Okay. Okay. This stamp system is m working much better for me. I'm able to remember that I have stamps and they're handy and they're all separated by topic. Um, as opposed to manufacturer or brand or whatever. All right. Now, I often say, I haven't said it in a while, and I know I have new people here. I don't teach. Can you tell why I don't teach? <laughs> Mass confusion. Oh, these are all sticky -less. Now, 
if it's not a complete stamp, I'm okay with that because I think I'm going to put other stuff underneath it. Have you noticed the squeak on my desk? It's because there's a board right here. There's a board on top of the table. Seems to have squelched the squeak. Okay, that needs to dry. So, if I do like that, and Maybe insert one of these guys. Put a picture. on top here, say like Ho Chi Minh Memorial, maybe even this scrap of map. And then This is all the Confucius slash literature museum. I might put my regular breakfast. Oh dear, don't fall on my ink. It's not dry all the way. Water puppet. Here's another great view of the bridge we bombed. This was our first night of our um, provided dinners. This is the menu. Uh, hoi noi chicken soup, fresh coconut heart salad with seafood, traditional Vietnamese deep fried spring roll, soft shell crab with white onion, sea salt, and chili pepper, Daylot pear rolled in thinly sliced and grilled beef tenderloin. Uh, grazed quawfish on a bed of sliced pork and aromatic garden with black pepper and served in a clay pot. Fresh morning glory stir fried with chopped fresh garlic. Steamed ha hoi fragrant rice and sago and longan in coconut cream. That was probably the best meal because it progressively, in my taste buds, got worse. And actually, this is the front of our hotel and the center. It had a big, huge courtyard. And your room looked out onto the center. So let's put all that on here. I just, I was so disappointed in the food. And this is just personal preference because I like most any food. And I like most Asian food that I've run across in my lifetime. I just did not like this. And it was so disappointing because I wanted to like it so bad. I think I'm going to take this one off. Use this one. Not quite as smoggy and you can see the bridge better. Not that that's anything to brag about, but here's our hotel and here's our hotel. 
So do that. And here is my favorite meal. Can my favorite meal go next to Ho Chi Minh? Sure. It was breakfast every morning. Oh, and I also had a really, really very um, mild yogurt that they had a, just a plain vanilla yogurt, but they had a dragon fruit in that. It was delicious every morning that we were at this hotel. So I think I might go like that, like that, cover up this, the sky. Do I want to do that? Or do I want to put red back down there? do that. Okay, I need to trim this. But the country made up for the food. <laughs> and it might be all psychosomatic since I'm still feeling the effects of the gift that keeps on giving with this parasite thing. Okay, Ho Chi Minh. I need something here. Oh, uh, what do I have in my ephemera? Is there anything else left from the flight file? But most of these are cities that we didn't go to. Hanoi. Who's Hanoi right here? I think I'll do something in this corner. Hold on a sec. See, it takes me a minute to get everything. Ooh. Even though this isn't the right language, can I put a little bit of this? Ooh, this is pretty too. a little bit of something that has red on it. I hope I don't overdo the red. Ooh, there's a good little bit of a rug. I, I use rugs a lot, people. Just pictures of them, pictures out of magazines, because they just add a little bit, especially like Turkish type rugs. I'm just going to do that. I'll show, I'll take a picture of this at the end and I'm going to show you up close because it looks good in my opinion. So nope, I don't teach. I usually do everything wrong. And I don't have sponsors. The only person that's my sponsor doesn't know it. My husband. Don't tell him. He's my sponsor. He doesn't know it. Actually, I think every time Amazon comes, he knows it. <laughs> okay. I like this. Now, I need to do some journaling. And I'm going to do some journaling today. I got to catch up in those two days. Yesterday's and today's. And then maybe tomorrow we'll start adding a postcard or something um that is still i don't know if this is dry yet nope it's getting there
I have somebody in my driveway. I'll be back. Okay, my husband had somebody come over, so I have to do a voiceover for the last part of it. Um, but I didn't want this to be another long one, but apparently it's going to be another long one. Anyhow, I really am loving how this is coming together. I found a receipt for room service, the first time I've ever ordered room service in a hotel. Um, but it has the letterhead of the, uh, the logo of the hotel. So I'm going to include that, and um, even though it's blue. But that's okay, because there's blue in the pictures with the sky, um, even though it's overcast and smoggy, it still has a little bit of blue in it too. So um, I'm really liking this. I, I'm, I'm not sure how I'm going to stick it all together though. Uh, but that's okay. We don't have to go there yet. Um, it can just live in a paper clip for a while or a binder clip. So I got the inside of the hotel, the outside of the hotel, the bridge going... Um, the old bridge in Vietnam or in Hanoi and going over the Red River. And then I have this leftover piece of vintage map. And um, I have my uh, steadfast breakfast <laughs> minus the uh, hash brown and the chicken sausage. Uh, I had that every single morning while I was in that hotel. What did we have for breakfast in the... We pretty much had the same thing every everywhere we went. We had French rolls of some kind, a lot of fruit, and um, you could have pho or egg rolls, what we call spring rolls. What they call it spring rolls, we call egg rolls. Um, and I pretty much had that everywhere, everywhere. Uh, it was delish, delish. Anyhow, so this turned out really nice. And now I'm going to talk about tomorrow, the Confucius Museum aka the literacy museum so thanks for watching i appreciate you every day and i'll see you all tomorrow bye